Perhaps we should pay a visit to the lab. There might still be something hidden there. What is this place? And... Is that a cradle? I... remember this room. Anything you want to tell us, Kamaravi? This is where I awoke. Met Miyabi and the others. So that means that cradle is... It is no simple cradle. Fitted inside is a device which matures a life to a state close to homecoming. That makes sense. So that's what Y used when reviving Mwamba and the others. Kamaravi, is that cradle still usable? The installation works, just barely. Why do you ask such a thing? Uh, Ethel, you're not thinking... Our enemies are supernatural beings. Monsters who use human lives for fodder. You can all fight against them, but me... As I am now, I'm barely able to protect myself. All I can really do is hang back and watch, so as not to be a hindrance. But... Suppose I was to use this cradle... Ethel, you don't have anything to prove. As far as the choices available to you go, you could also return to the city and live a peaceful life. And yet, you're saying you want to throw your body back under war's grindstone and spend your life fighting. But then, you are ever thus. By the time you speak your mind, your body and soul are long ready. I think you should do as you wish. Kamaravi, are you sure it's fine? To embroil her in what's ultimately our fight? Ethel's path should be hers to choose. I'm certain her resolve is firm. If she wished for a life of peace, she would not have followed us this far. The way must have been inside her all along. I suppose that's true, yes. But still... I am anxious about the result, same as you. Nevertheless, as a devoted follower of none other but the warrior's way myself, I wish to respect the will and resolve of one who has chosen the same path. I believe Ethel's freedom is hers to do with as she wishes. Thank you, Kamaravi. At the same time, I am of course not in a position to decide such things myself. We have conveyed to you our desire. Would you tell us your opinion in turn? <sighs> Well, what should we do? How are you feeling, Ethel? Oh, never better. I mean that literally. 
It's as though new strength is welling up inside of me. This way I'll be able to fight by your side, too. You have my thanks. Huh. What's wrong, Kamaravi? Silvercoat. Oh. Silvercoat? What does that mean? I'm not sure. When I saw you just now, the word simply came to me. As though something was guiding me. What in the world? This sensation! From where did it spring? Kamaravi. I can explain. What we should be thinking about now is the future. What we can achieve in unison, no? Huh. I said I could be your eyes. That has not changed. Just as you showed me the way before, let me now be your guide. You are right. You can see that which I cannot, indeed. I wanted to live life true to myself, but the answer is still not clear. But perhaps, by working together with you... Let's search for the answer hand in hand, Kamaravi. With unity between us, nothing can be impossible. some relations have changed. <laughs> 